Hey guys, welcome to Unpacking with Cargo Bay. On this episode, I am going to discuss how you can survive being a cargo pilot. Now I've heard it all. Uh, we're vampires. Uh, we sleep during the day where we're afraid of the sun. The sun hurts our eyes. And how do we function in a world when we work and thrive when the rest of the world is sleeping? So we're gonna dive right into that topic about how to manage your schedule and also how to not only survive, but to thrive as a cargo pilot. First off, welcome from Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Kentucky Derby. This is actually my home domicile, I'm based here. No, I don't live here. And if you wanna know how I commute to work from Jersey to Kentucky, watch my episode on commuting. But anyway, welcome from Kentucky. I had a uh, short trip today. It was um, one day and it was a turn. So my day started in Atlanta, Georgia, earlier today at 6.45 a.m. We took off, flew down to Central America, to uh, Nicaragua, and it was about three and a half hours down. They offloaded the jet, unloaded the jet with some more cargo, and then we basically turned around and took off and landed here in Louisville by, we were here by 4.30 p.m. So quick turn, um, all in the daytime, you know, I'm not melting or anything, I'm not a vampire. Um, so yeah, let's talk about how you can survive being a cargo pilot. Now, I would say there's three things that will help you thrive as a cargo pilot. Not only thrive, survive, but, and I don't, I would say that these three things would pertain to just the average person, not just pilots, pilots and non-pilots alike, if you will, all right? First thing, eat good. It's simple, your body is your temple. Fill it up with good food, some nutrients, some herbs, you gotta take care of your temple, this is your vessel. So junk in is junk out, good stuff in, good stuff out. So that's the first thing. Second thing, exercise. Take care of your body. Get your get your heart pumping, get that blood flowing. Um you don't have to do a you don't have to run a marathon, you know, every time you're on a layover, but do some type of physical activity. Maybe go for a walk or uh, a bike ride, rollerblade, whatever your thing is, just you want to keep your body moving because being a pilot a lot of our time in the airplane is spent sitting down. Majority of your time is spent sitting down, being stationary. So it would behoove you and your body will thank you for staying active. Get up, stretch, and on your layovers, uh, go to the gym. Every hotel we stay in has, has a gym. Perfect time to work out while you're on the road. And lastly, the third thing is sleep. Now, this is probably the most important part when it comes to um, surviving and thriving as a cargo pilot because you must manage your sleep. Now, a great deal of our flying is backside of the clock, so you have to plan accordingly. Myself, personally, I always get eight hours of rest in any 24-hour period. Now, it may not be eight hours all in, you know, all in a row at one stretch, but hence, yeah, I'm an effective napper. You have to be good with napping and being able to go to sleep when, when you have a moment or, you know, a few hours between, uh, between turns or what have you. So managing my sleep, you know, I eat, I eat, you know, fairly well. I'm not, you know, I'm not extreme or anything, but you know, I don't do anything too crazy, but I, I like to stay generally healthy, eat generally good food and exercise. Those three things would definitely keep me rolling. I'm happy. I have energy. I'm not tired. So those are some ways to survive being a cargo pilot. Thank you all for watching this episode. As always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, drop them down, shoot me a note. Uh, and I'll try to answer them as I receive them. All right, see you guys next time.